World War II, Americans were asked to use their skills and talents to support the war effort. Today, it's a different kind of conflict, and like their 1940s contemporaries, many stand ready to answer the call. The whole class is about um, finding a problem in your local community and trying to solve it. Maddie Anderson works at the Weber School in Sandy Springs, a fabrication lab manager in the school's Daniel Zalik Academy. She wanted to aid in the battle against COVID-19. Then she heard someone was looking for help to build intubation boxes, a key form of personal protective equipment physicians use when treating patients suffering from respiratory issues, issues that stem from coronavirus. We had seen the box or some diagrams uh, on the web and had reached out to area schools. Maddie jumped at the opportunity. I immediately called them and got in touch with them and they were saying, well, we need as many as you can make. They would settle on 21 boxes. Family and friends donated money. Personal contacts within the Home Depot helped connect the group to local vendors. Maddie assembled her team and got to work. We are able to do quite a bit of manufacturing on our own, but honestly, assembly is the longest part and that takes the most time. Through patience and persistence, they accomplished the mission. 21 intubation boxes that will be delivered to 10 Wellstar Healthcare System hospitals. Doctors there will provide feedback. For the team, it's a success. For Maddie, a source of relief. My mom works in healthcare, and so um, hearing about, you know, there's a, a lack of protective gear um, and the numbers are getting higher than we expected. And so for me, it was kind of coming from a personal place of I'm anxious, I want to help my mom. Stepping off the sidelines to save those who sacrifice on the front lines.